good morning guys welcome back to a new vlog um it is now the end of week three of home quarantine which is so crazy we're going into week four in a few days but i hope that you guys are all doing really well and that you are safe and healthy and that all of your family is healthy so today i thought i would vlog a little bit and also just for the next few days i don't really know what we'll be getting up to yet but um i will share with you guys what we do end up doing something that i do like to do is to clean out and organize my things i feel like it's always just such a weight off of my shoulders when i can minimize what I have and the things that I do have that they're organized and I know where everything is and it just it's really good for my mind I feel I've already organized the more like fun parts of our apartment so like my makeup and clothes our bathroom products and the kitchen but there are a few parts that I've just kind of been like putting off that are not the most fun so I thought today as I'm in the mood for organizing I will tackle those places as well and maybe that will inspire you guys to do the same you know now one of the benefits of being home is that we have a lot more time and i know that when life gets going again i'm just going to be really grateful that i actually went through those parts of the apartment and that they're clean so having that time right now is an extra motivation so i will do that I'm having some plant-based yogurt with some homemade granola. I will leave the recipe for this down below. It is so delicious and very, very healthy. It's just a mix of some nuts, seeds, oats, cinnamon, but I will have that recipe down below for you guys. And then I've got some berries, some blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, and then I'm also having some green tea with that. With the speed of light, we cross the stratosphere. Okay, so this is the first place I'm gonna tackle today. These are some drawers that we have here in our living room. I don't know if you guys have this as well, but this is one of those parts of our apartment where we just put a lot of random things. So in this first drawer, we have like some paper things, envelopes, pens. Um, we have some random like electronics, a laptop case, some more like wires and cables. Um, here I have some more electronics. My weights for my Pilates are in here. So yeah, this is in a desperate need of a good organization and just a clean out. So I'm gonna take all of this stuff out, wipe down the surfaces, and hopefully find like some system of organization for all of these drawers and hopefully feel a lot better about the space. to already predetermine what is going to be in each drawer so that I know what goes where um, when I'm putting everything back. So for the first drawer, I'm going to write workout equipment. And that is going to go in this first drawer. And then here, I'm going to make that one office supplies. In this one, I already have some electronics, like charging cables, camera chargers. So I'm just going to make that one chargers. So I'm just going to start there and see what other categories I need moving forward. <laughs>
I'm pretty much done now going through all of the drawers and I got rid of a lot of stuff mostly like cables and things that I don't even know what that belongs to and it's just been sitting in there for years and taking up space so i'm just getting rid of it and things are now a lot more organized in terms of like categories per drawer for each thing don't know how long it's gonna stay that way but i think it's good to do this like every few months just you know minimize your things and it's crazy to think how many things we actually hold on to that we're not using that are not necessary um so yeah, it just feels really good to just get rid of a lot of things i've just made myself some lunch i'm having a green salad with some cucumbers these are some leftover brussels sprouts from last night and then half an avocado some seeds and I just sprinkled some lemon juice and some apple cider vinegar on top some pink Himalayan sea salt and pepper very simple but very delicious made myself a nice hot chocolate with almond milk cacao powder which is unsweetened i also put some cinnamon and some vanilla and honey inside and it is so delicious just sipping on that and i usually like to have something warm after my lunch sometimes i have a tea and then um, sometimes i make myself a matcha or something like this so i want to chat with you guys about the book that i'm currently listening to i would say this is one of the best books that i've read on spirituality and how to deepen your faith um, regardless of whatever religious background you might come from and just it's an overall really great self-development book it is by Marianne Williamson it's called A Return to Love and it's her reflections on the book called A Course in Miracles you guys probably know that I really love uplifting and positive books and books that give me information that I can actually use from my life and how to make my life better I think for every person we all deal with our struggles and with things that happen in our lives so I think that it's really important that when you do read a book or you know spend your time consuming something that it's going to help you in some way and not bring about like more anxiety or more stress so the book as i mentioned is about marion williamson's take on the iconic book course in miracles which i have not read it's a pretty hefty and dense book and i think that people like take years to study it but this is her interpretation so it's kind of like a bite-sized version of the course in miracles but nonetheless it is so good and there's so much wisdom and so many great i would say just universal life lessons in the book and she discusses everything from relationships to career to self-development it really teaches you how to relax and be more peaceful in life even when you do have struggles or difficulties and i think that this book is so important right now especially in the current situation of the world and just on a personal level the thing that i got most from the book is just how to develop your spirituality and how to develop more faith in God or the universe or whatever it is you want to call it that beautiful universal energy that we can all reach and that is all within us and one of the main themes of the book is how to identify and separate love and fear and how to always like the title says return to love because that is the ultimate truth and the ultimate way to move forward I want to read you some of my favorite quotes from the book I've actually written them down because I thought they were so beautiful the first quote is love is what we are born with fear is what we learn the spiritual journey is the unlearning of fear and prejudice and the acceptance of love back in our hearts love is the essential reality and our purpose on earth to be consciously aware of it to experience love in ourselves and others is the meaning of life meaning does not lie in things meaning lies in us another beautiful quote from the book is success means we go to sleep at night knowing that our talents and our abilities were used in a way that served people we're compensated by grateful looks in other people's eyes whatever material abundance supports us in performing joyful and at high energy and the magnificent feeling that we did our bit today to help save the world the book is filled with so many other great takeaways and life lessons these are things that we might know and that obviously like make sense to us but i think that it's really important to have these little reminders these little nudges
nudges in the right direction as we go about our life. So I would highly, highly recommend checking out this book by Marianne Williamson. She also reads the book, which is really nice, and she has a very conversational tone, so it feels like she's literally speaking to you, and her voice is also very calming. I think she did a great job narrating this book. If you guys want to listen to this book for free, I am partnering with Audible on this video, and you can head to audible.com forward slash Annie Jeffrey, or you can text Annie Jeffrey to 500 500 and you can listen to this book for free or any other book on the site. You'll also get a 30 day free trial, and again, that one free audiobook, and your choice of two free Audible originals as well. And if you haven't heard of Audible yet, they are the leading provider in spoken word entertainment and audiobooks, and every month members get one credit to pick any title plus two Audible originals from a monthly selection, plus you get access to daily news as well as guided meditation programs. Plus with Audible, if you guys are not happy with your audiobook, you can always exchange it for another one and you fully own your audiobook library. So even if you cancel your account, you still get to keep all of your audiobooks. I love listening to books when I'm out on a walk, when I'm cooking, doing laundry, cleaning. And in case you've already listened to A Return to Love by Marianne Williamson, I will also have some of my other favorite titles below in the description box for you guys. Some other really great audiobooks that I would also recommend. So definitely make sure to check there. And again, if you want a free audiobook, you just go to audible.com forward slash Annie Jeffrey. I will have that information in the description box as well. So this is our dinner tonight. This is basically a bunch of leftovers and odds and ends in the fridge that I just threw together. So I'm having a red bell pepper and bean chili. I've also got some delicious sweet potato, a green salad, a quarter of an avocado, and then Mo has some rice. And this is a tikka masala that I made last night that we just had some leftovers of. I just warmed that up and there's a little salad there on the side as well with some avocado. Yum. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is the next day and I'm setting up to film for my banana bread recipe video. You guys might have already seen this, if not I will have it linked below, but I am super excited to share this recipe with you guys. I will show you the finished result in a little bit. So good! You can eat a whole cake without feeling guilty. So it's now been about three weeks since I had anything done to my nails and they are starting to look pretty rough. So I've ordered some supplies to do an at-home manicure myself. I've got a UV um, lamp for the gel nail polish and I also got a few um, colors to 
do my nails by myself. So this is my DIY little setup here to do my nails. I got this um, UV lamp which you just put your fingers in underneath like that and then it dries the nail polish. I also got a set of nude natural colors. I'm not actually in love with any of these. Um, they are a little bit different than what I saw online but I'm going to go through them again and see the one that I like the most. I also have my base coat, my top coat, some nail files and some other little tools that I need. These are some alcohol pads that I need for the last step um, once the top coat is dried just to wipe the nail clean with. And um, yeah, I'm gonna prep you guys up here on the side and show you guys how I do it. So I don't really love any of these colors, but I think this is the one that I like the most. I normally like a more nude, like the one that I currently have on my nails, but this is the closest one out of the um, set of colors that I ordered. So I'm gonna go for that one. So the first step is to remove what I already have on my nails. I got this product over here, which is something that is new to me. Normally with gel polish, you just apply acetone, like pure acetone on your nails, and that will get rid of the gel. But I saw this product and it looks like a nail polish. You apply it like a nail polish and apparently it will do the same thing as acetone. So I'm gonna give this a try. First, it says though that you need to file the top of the nails a little bit first to just help to loosen up the polish. apply the remover so that needs to sit for one two three minutes okay now I'm going to scrape it off coming off pretty easy. Okay, so the nail polish is all gone. I'm now going to cut and file my nails. Now I'm going to let my nails soak in a bowl of hot water and then I'm going to cut the cuticles. Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the filing and the shaping of my nails. I'm now going to apply the base gel, then I'm going to go in with the color and the top coat.
What kind of color is it? I bought this set of, n of neutral colors and I thought one of them would work and they had like pictures online of what they look like but none of them are nice <laughs> only this this kind of pink one that you have on now? yeah it's cute it's cute I mean you did it yourself come on okay color is on and now it's time for top coat Okay, and the last step is just to take an alcohol pad or some cotton wool with alcohol on it and I'm just going to wipe the top of the nail polish. And there you go. Okay, my nails are done. This is what they look like. The color isn't that bad. It's a little bit pinker than what I normally do, but it's still quite nice. But yeah, it feels a lot fresher and better now. I will link all of the tools and the things that I used down below in the description box in case you guys are interested in any of these things. And these lamps are not very expensive. It really does make a big difference if you have to do your nails at home. And gel manicures, they last for about two weeks, so you're not going to get any chips in your nails you know you can do the dishes and do lots of stuff and it's not going to chip your nails and they stay nice and shiny as well so yes feels a lot fresher good morning guys it is a new day and i'm having my favorite breakfast at the moment which is just some plant-based yogurt and i've been putting that with my chia pudding on the side so i do half yogurt half chia pudding then i sprinkle my homemade granola on top some berries and it is just the most delicious thing ever i also put some honey on top and it is so good <laughs> It is a little bit later and we are about to sit down and have some dinner and I thought I would show you guys what we're having. I know it's been a lot of food in this vlog, but that's honestly one of the things I really look forward to um, every single day and I love making us healthy food. So I've made two salads. On the bottom it's just some mixed greens and then on the top there is a massaged kale salad. So I massage the kale with some lemon juice and some avocado to make it a little bit softer and it makes it really really delicious as well. And then we just have some cucumbers, tomatoes and the dressing that I made is a tahini lemon dressing which is just um, tahini, lemon juice, garlic, salt and pepper and a little bit of water in a blender and it is so incredibly delicious and super easy to make and to go with our salads i am having a bowl of beautiful potatoes i'm having some regular potatoes and some sweet potatoes i put these in the oven just bake them a little bit and that's gonna go really well with my salad and then mo ordered a pizza from a local um, pizza shop which are still open but they just do takeaway that looks really good and then he also ordered a minestrone soup on the side so this is going to be our dinner thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to check the description box down below for recipes and links and helpful things like that and until next time thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one